What am I supposed to think? I'm not cheating on you, Rebecca. Then where are you going? Last night you got home at 4 a.m., Isaac. You jumped right in the shower. I told you. I haven't been sleeping well. Went out for a run. Do you know how shady that sounds? What would you think if I just disappeared in the middle of the night and came home to shower? If I didn't know better, I'd think you're the Clamville killer. The what? The serial killer, Ike. You have to have heard about it. It's all over the news. here for you. I mean, I never thought you would call me about something like this, though. Yeah. I couldn't really believe it either. Just didn't think that Beck would leave me, you know? Been together for nearly a decade, and then one day, gone. I honestly didn't think she was the type. Me either. Kind of been having trouble sleeping lately, so I've been up running all hours of the night. Running? You? The guy who would fake a stomach ache to get out of PE? People change. that you know of me haven't changed at all. Well, the neighborhood looks great. People are really keeping up on their houses. There's the real fear in you coming through. I might actually need your help listing the place. Seriously? You 
you've already started renovating? Yeah. Just everything in this place reminds me of Rebecca. Just feel like I need a new scene. Yeah, I get it. But honestly, property values in Clamville are at an all-time low. Typically, towns don't do so well when they're being terrorized by a serial killer. Terrorized? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, four bodies is hardly serial killer level. I thought there were three. Three. Whatever. Listen, people are still going to find the value in Clamville. I mean, look at their school system. They're great. Come on. Let's get you settled in the guest bedroom. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 